Hello and welcome. I hope you can all hear me now. Sorry about the technical difficulties. Still trying to get things arranged here. For some reason it's not connecting there. Come on, I had it all working right before I started. Let's see here. Let's see what this does. Maybe this will help. <clears throat> Hope everybody's doing fine out there. There we go. It's a beautiful Saturday here in Idaho. The wife's out working in the garden. And I'm in here trying to figure this stuff out. I'm trying to have fun with you guys. So here's the plan. What I'd like to do is have you throw out three words, put them in the text or in the chat, and then I will turn those three words into a prompt. We'll run those three words through the uh, AI text to art generators and see what we come up with. So as you can see, I've done a few here already. This was one my, my wife gave me, uh, calendar, drywall, and wall vent. And as you can see, uh, it got a bit confused. I was a bit confused by those words as well, so I can't really blame it too much. This one was uh, skyscraper, spaceship, and lilacs. That's better. I had myself in my ear over here. <clears throat> okay. This one I thought was pretty fun. <laughs> I think that was puppy, goldfish, and frisbee. Or ball. That was ball. This one was puppy, goldfish, and frisbee. So let's come up with some other words. What are we going to do? How about How about crawfish um camera I don't know, what's another one? Bowl? I'm a bowl. Cool. Let's see what that does. Alright, visualize a close-up shot of a crawfish, claws raised, staring into the lens of a camera while perched on the rim of a bowl, creating a captivating composition. Okay. Let's see. Okay. It's quite interesting. <laughs> huh. I'm 
guessing the I don't I'm not seeing a camera unless they're trying to represent it as a lens and a bowl huh all right what's another one hmm bear oh gotta put it in first time huh? that would help Bear, Alaska, palm tree. It, it, it doesn't make sense, right? There's no palm trees in Alaska. Maybe there are. Let me capitalize Alaska. Hmm, interesting. Imagine a majestic bear standing tall in the wilderness of Alaska, juxtaposed against the backdrop of a lone palm tree, blending elements of nature in a captivating juxtaposition. Interesting. Let's see what it'll come up with. Okay. No palm tree. Nothing at all like the prompt asked. The bear in Alaska. But where's the juxtaposition? Whole bunch of claws. <laughs> so I wonder. Hmm. Imagine a majestic bear standing tall in the wilderness of Alaska. Take the comma out on both of those and see what happens. Because it seems to do that here too, right? Staring into the lens of the camera. Let's take the commas out. No. It didn't seem to help. got five legs though. It's kind of weird. Huh. Sometimes it just feels like it has its own, it just doesn't want to. You know? I've often talked about it as being like a toddler. Not, not really fully formed in English yet. Um, and, and still kind of in that, you know, what do they call it, the terrible twos or the terrible threes where they're, they don't want to do anything you tell them to? So, I don't know. Let's try, let's try another one. Just keep on trucking on. Oh, uh, what words are we going to use? Hmm. Hey, Kip, it's good to see you. I'm having, I'm struggling trying to figure out words here. <laughs> I'm hoping you can help. Let's see. Um, cheetah. Uh... Ocean. And, um, Orchid. That sounds good. All right, envision a graceful cheetah, its sleek form elegantly emerging from the depths of the ocean, surrounded by vibrant orchids floating on the water surface, a breathtaking fusion of power and delicate beauty. All right. Let's see, I'm going to take these commas out. It seems to stop everything from doing stuff. 
and from that we'll just go let's see what it does I love this part it's like it always reminds me of when my mom used to give me a quarter at the grocery store and you'd walk up to that machine with all the little bubbles in them and each bubble had a different prize and you never know what you get until you put that quarter in there and you turn that knob and that little bubble would fall out that's pretty sweet it's kind of oceany but you can't really tell it's oceany very cool let me know if any of these are something that you're uh, that you're into and you want and I'll upscale it and put it out on a Google Drive for you Oop, that's the wrong thing Do you have three words yet? Hmm. Is whimsical one of them? Let's try it. Whimsical. Vibrant. Mm. Gopher. How about that? Picture a whimsical scene with a vibrant gopher sporting a rainbow-colored hat and a mischievous grin surrounded by a magical landscape filled with floating balloons, sparkling stars, and whimsical flowers. This one should be interesting. Oh, I forgot to take the commas out. Ooh, Cascade, that's a good one. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I like that they put the little mushrooms back here. It's pretty fun. All right. So we've got whimsical and cascade. How about, I don't even know if I can spell this right, Terra Dactyl, I think that's it, and not that flying dinosaur thing. Imagine a whimsical cascade of vibrant colors flowing down a lush landscape, with a playful pterodactyl soaring through the sky, adding a touch of magic and wonder to the scene. Cool. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. It's cool, it's just different. Not what I was expecting at all. And you can always throw modifiers on the NZ's things too. What I mean by that is you can type in you want it to be like ultra detailed um, you know, photo realistic or um, hyper realistic we'll do hyper realistic and see what that does uh, cinematic lighting 8k rendering you know that kind of stuff each one of those is supposed to change it
in some way. That's the craziest looking pterodactyl I've ever seen. <laughs> uh, absolutely crazy. That's one thing it does real well though is water. Let's use that as a uh, something water related. Whimsical cascade ocean maybe. Visualize a whimsical cascade of sparkling waterfalls cascading down a vibrant cliffside, merging seamlessly with the shimmering waves of an endless ocean creating a magical and captivating scene. That's pretty cool. Uh, I'll leave those. No, actually we're going to do it without the modifiers and just see what happens. It doesn't like, like some words it just doesn't, it doesn't understand. So I try and separate them and see what it does. Wow. Very cool. Very, very cool. Let's uh, put those modifiers in and see what happens. Hyper realistic, cinematic lighting. Uh, 8K. That should be good enough. Very cool. What else can we do? Hmm. Every time I think about it, all I can ever think about is uh, our animals. <laughs> Uh, maybe uh, maybe food. Let's do something something food related. Celery. Um, carrot. And radish. Let's do that. And then we're gonna do a modifier. <clears throat> Imagine a vibrant vegetable. <laughs> Imagine a vibrant vegetable medley with crisp, crisp celery, vibrant carrots, and colorful radishes arranged in an artistic display, showcasing the beauty and freshness of nature's bounty. Okay, now, I don't know that this is going to work here, but I'm certainly going to try. So we'll see what it looks like as they want it to be. Very cool. That's the strangest radish carrot I've ever seen. Um, but very cool. Broccoli. Alright. Now let's do this with... In, uh, let's see. Imagine a vibrant... Anim... Uh, la, 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 la. Ah, I can't remember what it's called. Anim... Morphic? Anamorph... Anamorphic? No, I got to get out of this thing real quick. Let's go see what the. Uh... Let's see. I want to see what this will do. Will it turn vegetables into like DreamWorks creatures? Like this. Isometric view of mini cute hyper realistic futuristic soldier cat. Yeah, something like that. Isometric, that's, that's crazy. Uh, soldier cat. Alright, let's see what it does with the... Uh, and then we'll go back in and we'll kind of rephrase this one a bit. A vibrant... Hmm...
That's it. That whole thing's just going to have to be redone. Hyper-realistic, futuristic soldier vegetable garden. <laughs> I guess I don't need to put that in there right now. Right there. Let's see what it does. Okay. Very interesting. You want to see what it does with cities, huh? How does it do in cities? Straight lines and seminary. Yeah, it, it does okay. I can show you a couple of things that I did. Uh, let's see here. that I did I've always thought about having um, oh there here they are about having habitats underwater I wanted to be an architect when I was a kid um, didn't it didn't turn out that way but I've still had these thoughts and things that I've always wanted to see and I was pumping them into, into AI to see what it could it would create and these are the things that it came up with. So we got this kind of golf ball thing. The only thing I can think of with these little dishes on the roof here, these dimples, would be like convex, almost like a magnifying glass to accept the light and pinpoint it, maybe for warmth, for, for heat. I, I don't know, but, but it was it was interesting. Um, and then it came up with this one. I wanted something more private but the, I could see maybe connecting pods like this together and having you know one pot a bathroom one pot a bedroom one pot a kitchen that kind of thing but you'd, we'd have to get to the whole darkening of the windows thing first so that won't work um, and then it, I said okay how about a city this is what it did now granted you you know think of these rather than being bushes as coral reefs um, this could work. I think the problem with it, really, I don't know. I mean, the depth maybe could be an issue, and how do you get into it? But it's pretty cool. Um, but the next one's my favorite, which I'd probably have as like a little, little vacation home or something. It looks like it, it's organic and it belongs there, you know. But very interesting. Um, but yeah, let's let's see what it'll do with. Uh, kind of city city thing um, let's see we'll go large city how about metropolis we'll just do that metropolis futuristic maybe or do you want it now let's try a futuristic and uh, yeah exactly almost like a deep sea rig underwater um, and let's do like you know what you just want straight lines let's see what it does Envision a futuristic metropolis with towering skyscrapers, sleek architecture, and straight lines stretching towards the horizon, depicting a vision of innovation and urban grandeur. Very cool. Here we go. I love how quick it is. It's, you know, 8 seconds, 10 seconds, depending on how busy everything is. Bam. really cool very cool let's see what it would look like nowadays instead of futuristic we'll just do modern and you said you want to see a seminary. Hmm. 
Imagine a modern metropolis with gleaming skyscrapers and a striking seminary nestled amidst the urban landscape, blending spirituality and contemporary architecture in a captivating juxtaposition. It's very interesting that this is what's coming up with, because I'm, I'm in the middle of reading uh, Ayn Rand's... Um, oh, crap, now I can't remember the name of it. Uh, the... Oh. oh! Anyway, it's about an architect or a guy who wants to be an architect, but he's a modernist back in the 1930s where everybody was still very into Greek and Roman and you know, that kind of thing. And uh, he kind of gets booted out of the architectural community because he's building modern. That's cool. It's very cool. Yeah, it does really well with a, a lot of stuff. But then, <laughs> as you've seen, it does really bad with a lot of stuff. Um, it has a hard time. I think the biggest problem I have is when there are multiple characters involved in a story. Because then you have... The only way to make it work is if you created individual models for each character. And then you would have to use those models every single time and for me that kind of defeats the purpose of this little experiment um, I want it to be you know it, just the the layman can walk up and use it as a tool um, rather than have to have to really mess around with it and, and learn it. it you know it's supposed to be about efficiency and, and that kind of thing and granted right now it's it's in its very early stages so I'm sure it will get better like I say and better and better and I'm sure will overcome us. Let's see, what else? Huh. Well, kaleidoscope. It's a good word. Surreal. It's another good word. Penguins. Huh? Huh? I know I always go back to animals. Picture a surreal kaleidoscope of colors where penguins don vibrant patterns. Their forms emerging, or their forms merging and transforming in a mesmerizing display of whimsy and imagination. Oh boy, where are the mushrooms for this one? There we go. If it stops here and there's no penguins, oh yeah, we're looking at them all. <laughs> Very cool. I think they got some kind of pattern on them. I'm trying to zoom in on it, but it won't let me. I I download now. That won't do it either. Very cool, though. dance and twirl. It, it's kind of the same thing. I wanted to run it twice and see what it would do. Sometimes it changes it up completely. Let's see. I'm going to pick words out of uh, out of chat that you put there. Abstract would be good. Uh, Mega City. Deep sea or underwater? Let's go underwater. Uh, 
and then uh, how about salmon area again? Be kind of cool to see a salmon area underwater. Visualize an abstract underwater world where a mesmerizing seminary emerges from vibrant coral reefs, blending spirituality and marine beauty in a captivating and ethereal composition. Very cool. This thing's so amazing, man. It's just, it's so addictive. I keep opening those bubbles and get new prizes every time. Huh. Can you, could you see that as a seminary? Hmm. Something else I've noticed is that it has a hard time depicting fish from birds. Almost like a evolution thing. Let's do that. Let's, let's try a... We'll use fish and birds. And evolution. How about that? Let's just go for the whole thing. Fish, birds, evolution. Imagine, imagine a stunning visual journey of evolution where fish gracefully transform into vibrant birds, showcasing the beauty and adaptation and the wonders the beauty of adaptation and the wonders of nature's creative process. If they got horns coming out of their head, we're going to have issues here. Twelve, thirteen, that one took a little bit. Whoa! What in the heck is that? All right, that one I'm keeping. Um, when you go to download these things, that's that's pretty much the size you get, unless you spend a few extra credits, which I always do, because then it upscales it. Now, what this is is there's this. It's called Creative Upscale, and it costs five tokens. But I have, I, I'm a subscriber to it. I pay monthly, so I get eighty five hundred tokens every month which is plenty to do a video every day of what I'm doing and still have plenty to spare on making sure that you guys get images that you would like to have so with that being said this thing at that size isn't really going to do you much much good but if we upscale it it only takes a few seconds this will bump it up and kind of kind of clear up any yeah like you just saw see how it sharpened everything and gave it this real vibrant color and and uh, and now when you go to download it it's a little bigger there but you can you can tell now it's quite a bit larger and this is a really cool image that'd make a cool t-shirt Right, I'm going to save this one. Uh, let's see. Put it on the desktop. We're going to call it Evolution. Let's see. Let's see here. Uh. All right, and there it is. If you want it, the links uh, the links in the description. Cool. All right, let's see what else we can do. I like, I kind of like that whole evolution thing. Let's see. 
You want to try and get biblical? You can try and get biblical. It will be a good Bible story. Hmm. The burning bush. Let's see Moses burning bush. I guess that would have to be capitalized, wouldn't it? Envision the iconic moment of Moses encountering the burning bush, where divine light radiates from the fiery foliage, capturing the awe and mystery of a sacred encounter. I completely agree with you, Kip. I completely agree. Oh, man, look at that. Talk about fire and brimstone. The Baptists would use that, use that image a lot. Let's see, what else can we do here? We'll do a couple more. And I'll go help the wife in the garden for a little bit. <laughs> Let's see here. A garden. Um, Springtime. How about just spring? And uh, well, you got it there. Board, spring board. We'll just do spring and board. Picture a lush garden in full bloom, where colorful flowers and vibrant foliage surround a playful springboard. <laughs> I did it, inviting you to leap into a world of joy and new beginnings. <laughs> it's funny it put them together. <laughs> wow that's pretty really cool yeah that's inviting I'd want to springboard my ass right through that gate I can imagine a little uh, little sitting area back there next to a little pond <laughs> pretty cool Let's see. Reports. That's a good one. I'll just do report. Watching. Airplane. Imagine a person engrossed in reading a report while gazing out of an airplane window with clouds and landscape passing by, representing the moment of focused productivity amidst a journey of exploration. Here we go. Bam. Wow, that's a trip. <laughs> that's not like any airplane I've ever been in, and boy, does he have long legs. And what is going on? Oh, okay, that's a that's a paper. I thought you had his arm turned into a knife. Huh? That's crazy. All right, let's get one more. How about... Polka dot... 
guitar. Oh. <laughs> right? That was beyond first class. <laughs> uh, polka dot, guitar, and fireman. Visualize a vibrant polka, got, polka dot guitar held by a talented fireman whose passion ignites fiery melodies that bring hope and joy, fusing the worlds of music and heroism in a truly unique way. Okay. Here we go. I kind of want to do Beyond First Class. I think that's going to be the next one, and then we'll end it after that. I'm taking a bit. Okay. <laughs> what in the heck? Wow. Very cool. All right, beyond first class. I'm going to switch it around, though. Class Beyond First. Yeah. See, it, it likes to take the first word and then kind of focus on it, right? So, a classroom filled with eager students where the walls dissolve into a vast expanse of knowledge and imagination, inviting them to explore a world that goes beyond the boundaries of the first. That doesn't really, really suit us, right? I mean, I, I like I'll throw it in there and see what it gives us, but that's not really what we were looking for. Although it is quite imaginative. So we'll go back and we'll run this one again. But we'll switch every... Oops. We'll switch everything around. Uh, yeah, beyond first class, I guess we'll have to keep it. Oop. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Visualize an extraordinary realm of luxury and comfort that transcends the ordinary where opulent amenities and exquisite service define an experience that goes far beyond the conf far beyond the confines of first class setting new standards of indulgence and sophistication hey something we'll never have huh who knows we'll see oh look at that let's get this thing running first we'll go check that one out wow that is quite the trip. Quite the trip. Ooh, hello, Titanic. <laughs> All right, we're going to call it one. We did pretty good. I'll, uh... I'll take the ones that I like. Are there any here that you like, that you really like, that you want? I'll post them out there if, uh, if you want any of them. Otherwise, I'll probably just end up deleting them. <laughs> Pretty cool. I sure appreciate you hanging out with me this fine Saturday. And... Uh, I'll, I'll check in on the chat and see if you've left any comments because this has a bit of a lag behind it. But, uh, yeah, if you want any of these, just let me know. I won't delete them until, until I see that you do or don't. Um, and then, uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. Take care.